Here's a few of the easiest things that if you do these, you're gonna go out in your very next round and you're gonna hit it pretty daggone well. So let's start out with piece number one. A lot of times players will set up with their hips to open at address. Now, the reason for this is we know that at impact, we should be clearing out of the way and getting those hips open. But while we're doing that, we need to keep our upper body behind the golf ball and we need to feel fairly closed with our shoulders. So we don't wanna get our hips and our shoulders and upper body going open. That's gonna get my head in front of the golf ball. It's gonna get my right shoulder kicking the club steep and over the top, which all those things we definitely don't want in the golf swing. So if we start out with our hips open, a lot of times that'll kick my head up here. It'll get me in a position where I'm gonna be coming down steep. It just makes it a whole heck of a lot harder. So I wanna set up and make sure that if I put a club on my hips, I hinge forward, if anything, I'd like to see you kick the hips a little bit closed. And what that's gonna do is not only is it gonna point the belt buckle more back here, it's also gonna feel like you get a little bit more weight on your right side because your upper body actually goes a little bit more to the right when you're doing that or behind the golf ball. So yes, I do wanna feel like in the downswing that I clear my hips open, but my upper body's staying behind it. If at a dress, I go ahead and set up with my hips a little bit closed, it kicks my upper body behind it, it gets me for my more inside or shallow swing path. And then from there, I feel like I'm keeping my body, my upper body behind it and closed. Then I can go ahead and open my hips as much as I want. It just makes it a whole heck of a lot easier. And it guarantees that you're gonna get a fairly nice draw on the golf ball. There we go. So nice little draw, hit that nine iron really nice. Get a little extra distance today, almost 170. Looks like 174 with the rollout on that one. So I'm happy with that. Now, piece number two is too weak of a grip. And you could watch tons and tons of videos that go on for hours about your grip, but here's the easiest, simplest way to hit the golf ball well with a very simple tweak to your grip. So first, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a hook with my hand, just like this, all four fingers together, thumb sticking out, just making a hook like a U with my fingers. Now from there, I'm gonna set the club where it's gonna be at impact, not where it's gonna be at address, but where it's gonna be at impact. Shaft lean forward, club face nice and square, and from there, I'm gonna set the, the club head in the bottom of that hook, in the fingers of that hook. So in this part of the hook, just like that, then I'm gonna go ahead and close my grip. You notice how my thumb is a little bit more on the right side of the grip. This V in my fingers is going toward my right shoulder. It's a slightly stronger grip than some people may be used to. This is the easiest way to play golf. Same thing with the right hand. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure my thumb is short on this club, so I don't want my thumb sticking way down long like this. I'm gonna pull it back up until I kind of cinch up the gaps here. And then my right hand, I'm simply gonna match the same thing. This hook on my right hand, again, it's gonna be at impact. I'm gonna feel like the fingertips are what's holding the club, and I'm gonna feel like this V in my right thumb and forefinger or more toward my right shoulder. So overall, a little bit more of a grip turned to the right side. And now I'm in a position to where I can get in good impact because we set up the grip that way. It also gets me in a position where it's a little bit easier to draw the golf ball. Second swing of the day, not quite as solid as the first one, but hey, I'll take it, no worries on that. Definitely drew on, this, on, on uh, every single shot with that type of grip and that type of setup, which just makes things a heck of a lot easier. So the third thing, and possibly the most important, is that you don't wanna have the club head in front of your body at impact. And let me explain what I mean. Most people think about hitting this golf ball, they think about hitting the golf club and hitting the ball with the club in front of their body. So if my belt buckle is facing toward the golf ball and my shoulders are facing toward the golf ball, my head is facing the golf ball, then my club is hitting and it's right in front of my body. So it's imagining impact being kind of like this. So club head, hips, shoulders, face, everything's going forward this direction. That's not how you play golf. Impact position is actually this right here. I know it sounds crazy, but this is where you hit the golf ball. Now, if I bend forward, all of a sudden the club head's way back there. What gives with that? Well, it's because my body is opening up. So look how my right heel starts to come off the ground. My hips open up, my shoulders open up. And in reality, when I'm hitting the golf ball, I'm hitting it here. My body's facing this way, my club is at the golf ball here, and then all I'm doing from there is bending down into my posture. That's where the consistency comes from. That's where getting the hands in front comes from. 
It comes from hitting the golf ball with the club behind you. So my club stays behind my body. I rotate my body to get it to reach the golf ball. And then from there, eventually it's gonna release. It'll catch up to my body or catch up to the midline of my body when what we call the straight line release. That's about 45 degrees in front. Now at that point, my belt buckle, my shoulders, my arms, my club are all going the same direction, but I'm releasing out here. I'm not releasing at the golf ball. So a simple little drill there is just go ahead and stand straight up and down, get your club about waist high, bend it back at about say 15, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, anything that's behind you. The club head should be outside of my body here. Then I'm just gonna bend down and rotate my torso open and that's gonna get you in a perfect impact position. So there we can see now my, my hands and arms aren't doing all the work to throw this club. The big muscle of my body are what's gonna be squaring this up. So let's run through th the three pieces again. It makes it super, super simple. I'm gonna go ahead and set up with my hips closed. I'm gonna get my grip a little bit on the stronger side, basically gearing, gearing it toward impact. And then from there, I'm gonna make sure that the club head stays behind my body the entire time and we're gonna have that nice little draw again. So very happy with that one. All right, so I touched there briefly on what we call the straight line release. And that can tie all these things in together. You see, when I think about releasing the club 45 degrees in front, belt buckle, shoulders, arms, club, everything is releasing to that point. Now my body naturally starts to open up and this club head naturally starts to lag behind. It's not catching up, like I said, until that straight line release. That is a simplifying move that can tie in so many great things in your swing. Staying in posture, opening your hips, weight shift to the front side, stopping, flipping, getting more lag, all those things, hitting it more solid, hitting the ball and then the ground. All those can be solved and dramatically improved very quickly by learning the straight line release. And we're learning the right way to do it because there are different ways to do it. You have to learn the right way. I'm gonna play a preview of one of my best straight line release videos. I wanna show you some drills to get you started with it so that you can feel this great impact and release position right now. So let's go ahead and click the card that pops up on your screen as you see this preview. If you don't see one of the cards, don't worry. Go down to the link below in the description. You can get instant access to that video. And I can't wait to share with you the secrets of getting that straight line release and making golf pretty daggone easy. Let's go and get started. A common misconception I see is that we want to create lag and we just want to hold that lag all the way on through contact and get as much lag as we can coming through contact. And that's simply not true. In the release section, we're going to talk about how to turn that lag into energy, how to turn that into speed so that you can hit it very far and do it, like we mentioned, without hardly any effort at all. And as we're coming through contact, we're going to fully release this angle as we're about 45 past contact. So if I draw you know, a 45 degree angle, I should be looking at both arms, nice and straight, the club splitting those arms. So that by releasing the club, by getting this angle to release as we're coming through contact, that's what's gonna create the speed. Our hands are moving a very short distance. Our club is moving a very long distance through contact and it creates that whip-like effect. Very different swings hitting the exact same position. So first let's take a look at Dustin Johnson releasing the club 45 past. And the reason we're gonna see such similar or such different swings producing similar positions is that this is the real physics of how this has to happen. Here we're looking at Sergio Garcia. Again, we're gonna to see tons